Hey everybody, Scott Mitchell here with InMotion Hosting and welcome to another video in our reseller tutorial series. Today we're going to walk through some of the basic features of the reseller account using the WHM and WHMCS tools. WHM is going to be used to create new cPanels for your clients and customers and then I'll walk you briefly through some of the WHMCS uh, functions and attributes so you can see kind of what you're getting to get into there. It's actually pretty easy. There's a lot to do, but everything is pretty simple. I'm not going step by step this time. Uh, we have other tutorials and videos for you on each individual thing uh, to, as you go along. But we're going to get started here in the WHM. I'm going to create a new account. Okay, so we're going to create a new cPanel account for example.com. All right, give it a username, password, uh, admin email address. All right, choose a package if you have any created. If you haven't created any packages for your WHM and you want to, we do have other tutorials and videos for that. Okay, just set all your default settings. And when you're done, click the Create button. All right, so that account's created. Now we're going to go over to WHMCS. Okay, so here we are in the WHMCS, and you can see the interface here. You have little uh, right and left panels. The left-hand panel here has the shortcuts. Right-hand panel has your main view. And the top are several tabs. All right, you have Clients tab here. All right, if you go, you can see your clients here. We have a few clients here created. You can see any orders you have. All right, we have one order there. Your billing. No transactions, but we have billable items we can look at. All right, you have the ability to create support tickets, reports for anything that goes on in WHMCS, such as sales, profits, stuff like that. Over here is your general settings and setup. General settings is where you'll start, and you'll be able to give your company name, information like that. Set up your products, so you can create products and services. Uh, you create groups, such as a hosting group, and then under that you can create a different product, whatever you want. You'll be able to set up currencies for payments, so you can take them in different um, country denominations, such as USD, which is United States dollars default. You can add British pounds, and, and etc. And then you can set up different payment gateways. That's ways to take your payments. Um, set them up through PayPal, for instance. PayPal is already done here. Uh, but you see a large list here that you can work with depending on which one's your favorite. And you can work with more than one. So if you have customers that want to use a specific one, you can hook up with those too. Now, again, as you can see, each tab has quite a bit going on with it. A lot of these uh, tabs even have sub areas here. So there's a lot there, but everything is pretty simple. And if you need to know how to do any of this, just uh, stick around. We have tutorials and videos for you to assist you as a reseller in running a successful reseller business. Well, guys, that's it for another episode of the Reseller Tutorial Series. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel below. If you have any questions, comments, or requests for future videos, leave those in the comment section below too. See you next time. Did you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.